Courtney and here's Joey and today I wanted to talk about Nature's Variety Kibble. I learned recently that Nature's Variety has decided they're going to reformulate all of their kibbles, some more than others. Um, I found out that the Raw Boost Kibble that's pretty popular, their um, chicken and their duck and turkey meal they're going to be starting to add peas as the sixth ingredient. And a lot of fer ferret owners aren't happy about that because, um, according to my vet, there is a gene that some ferrets have which is linked with bladder stones if a ferret eats peas. So, not every ferret that eats peas will develop bladder stones, but the ones that have the gene will. So my vet in particular just doesn't recommend ferrets eating kibbles with peas in it. So that's a problem that Nature's Variety is going to add peas. They're not adding it to every kibble, so you'll have to do your research. I know they're adding it to the chicken and the turkey and duck meal for the Instinct Raw Boost. So I actually have a picture of the current um, ingredient list of the turkey one, turkey and duck, and then what the new one is going to be. Let me go ahead and put that up there. Okay, so you saw there's new ingredients, those were green, and a lot of people are like, why do foods keep putting peas in? Uh, kibble companies want to put peas in the food because it's a way to say they have more protein in the food without actually adding meat because it's cheaper. <laughs> so aggravating. So anyway, I just wanted to make you aware that they're going to be doing this pretty soon. I've heard as early as May. So if you have a ferret that's on this food, I'd recommend stocking up on the current formula. That way if your ferret um, doesn't do well on the new formula or you need to transition onto something else because you don't want to feed peas, you can go ahead and get what you're currently giving and then kind of transition them on to something else. Um, that's what I recommend anytime you hear a formula change is going to happen, just stock up. That way you won't get caught where you only have the option of the new food and some ferrets are super picky and they're like, that's not the same, I don't want that. <laughs> and then you're left trying to deal with your picky ferret who, oh sorry, didn't mean to smack you. <laughs> your picky ferret that doesn't want to eat the new formula. So again, it's frustrating when companies do this, but I wanted you to be aware of it and get ahead of, of what's going to happen. I think they'll probably change their bag, they typically do that. Um, when they reformulate. I did hear, because I actually don't feed kibble anymore. I, I'm going to do a video on that. I switched over to raw. I actually feed the Nature's Variety raw bites <laughs> to Joey, but that's a whole other video. I'll talk about transitioning on him onto that. He does great on it. And they are not going to reformulate the raw food. Just wanted to reiterate that. Um, only the kibbles. So, sorry for the news, but I want you to be aware. I don't want people to be surprised and be like, what the heck, where's the food I've been feeding for forever? So anyway, um, Joey's doing great. I've had some questions on how he's doing. His tail is looking better. His, his hair is still grew back on the end. He's getting it slowly on the sides, but he feels great. He was actually up for four hours straight this morning. <laughs> I can't believe he's even awake for this video. Uh, but yeah, everything's going well. I plan to do a training video soon, so um, I will see you next time. Bye. There he is.